entorpecentes. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and strength, the author of all godliness, hear the devout prayers of your church, especially in times of persecution, and grant that we, what we ask in faith we may obtain. O blessed Jesus, even as you minister to all who are afflicted, look with compassion on those who, through addiction, have lost their health and freedom. Assure them of your unfailing mercy. Remove the fears that attack them. Release them from their addiction and grant skill, patience, and understanding love to all those who provide care for them, for your own mercy's sake. O oh God, the great physician, we pray for doctors, nurses, and all who care for the sick and dying. We give thanks for the ministry of mercy and pray that you will bless them with gifts of wisdom, strength, and compassion, that they may be a blessing to all in their care. O Lord of life, thank you for the life that you've given to Linnell Crawford, Will Gerber, and Anna Mae Groppendorf. And we pray that you will prolong their lives and be their length of days. And o Lord, we thank you for the gift of life and the blessings that you give to us through each other. Today we pray for Angie Anderson as she celebrates her birthday. We pray that you continue to keep her in the one true faith and, and to share that faith and love with others as you so often do. Bless all your missionaries throughout the United States and around the world. We pray for Jim and Peggy Krikova and Jim's work in international missions, Tom Odland and the work of Project Timothy in Kenya, Dan Schmelzer reconciling street boys and their families in Kenya, Alex and Nadia Krongholm in Russia, Yogin Chetri, Kamala in the Himalayan School of Music in Bhutan, Pastor Sachin in his church in Siliguri, Don Leonard, David Jones and Jasmine with Project Video in Thailand and China. Bless all the pastors and congregations of the Bible Faith Lutheran Church in India, Bishop Banu, Paul Dossery, and all the children at the Mariah School and Mariah Home, all the students at the seminary in Gunter, and feed my starving children. Heavenly Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Old Testament reading for the 15th Sunday after Pentecost from Moses' book of Genesis, the 50th chapter. When Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, they said, What if Joseph holds a grudge against us and pays us back for all the wrongs we did to him? So they sent word to Joseph, saying, Your father left these instructions before he died. This is what you are to say to Joseph. I ask you to forgive your brothers the sins and the wrongs they committed in treating you so badly. Now please forgive the sins of the servants of the God of your father. When their message came to him, Joseph wept. His brothers then came and threw themselves down before him. We are your slaves, they said. But Joseph said to them, Don't be afraid. Am I in the place of God? You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. So then don't be afraid. I will provide for you and your children. And he reassured them and spoke kindly to them. This is the word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. The epistle reading from St. Paul's letter to the Christians in Rome, the 14th chapter. Accept him whose faith is weak without passing judgment on disputable matters. One man's faith allows him to eat everything, but another man whose faith is weak eats only vegetables. The man who eats everything must not look down on him who does not, and the man who does not eat everything must not condemn the man who does, for God has accepted him. Who are you to judge someone else's servant? To his own master he stands or falls, and he will stand, for the Lord is able to make him stand. One man considers one day more sacred than another. Another man considers every day alike. Each one should be fully convinced in his own mind. He who regards one day as special does so to the Lord. He who eats meat eats to the Lord, for he gives thanks to God. And he who abstains does so to the Lord and gives thanks to God. For none of us lives to himself alone, and none of us dies to himself alone. If we live, we live to the Lord. 
And if we die, we die to the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. For this very reason, Christ died and returned to life, so that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. You then, why do you judge your brother? Or why do you look down on your brother? For we will all stand before God's judgment seat. It is written, As surely as I live, says the Lord, every knee will bow before me, every tongue will confess to God. So then each of us will give an account of himself to God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. If you forgive others their trespasses, the Holy Gospel and also the text for today's sermon from the 18th chapter of the Gospel according to Matthew. I invite you to stand. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began settlement, a man who owed him ten thousand talents was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. The servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. But when that servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed and went and told their master everything that had happened. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said. I canceled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master turned him over to the jailers to be tortured until he could pay back all that he owed. This is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother from your heart. This is the gospel of our Lord. Grace Grace to you, O Christ. Amen. You may be seated. How wide the love of Christ. It knows not class or race, but holds our one humanity within its broad embrace. How long the love of Christ. Its patience will not cease until this broken world is bound in everlasting peace. How high the love of Christ. Beyond all thought it soars, and yet upon our passing lives unmeasured mercy pours. How deep the love of Christ. Descending to a cross, he bears within his wounded hands all human pain and loss. All praise to you, O Christ, for love whose depth and height, whose length and breadth fill the time and space with endless light and light. Hey, Pastor Dale, I am so mad. You are? What's wrong? My sister ate the last dandelion cookie. Ah. So, I mean, you want a cookie? I think I've got some extra ones. No, I don't want a cookie. I want revenge. I'm mad. Oh, hashtag cookies for Jeff. (laughs) So tell me, Jeff, as you're so angry... Does that make you feel better? No, I feel terrible. But when I get back at my sister, then I'll feel better. 
You really think so? Yes. I don't think so. No? No, I mean, all it's going to do is damage your relationship even more than it already is. That's not going to fix things. Then what do I do? <clears throat> you know, Jesus came to forgive us, to take away all of our sins, to take away your sins, my sins, your sister's sins, everyone's sins. And because of that, our sins are all taken care of. God already got justice for us when Jesus went to the cross in our place. And so because of that, we can instead focus on our relationships with others and, and build those up and, and, and forgive them and, and share God's love with them. You know, that would actually be a lot better, right? Well, so then what do we need to do? Nothing. And the thing is, when we forgive other people, then we get a taste of that forgiveness that God gives to us. We get to experience it firsthand. Well, that's really great. Yeah, it is. Hey, let's pray. Good idea. Please pray with me. Dear Jesus, thank you for forgiving me. Help me to forgive others as you have. In Jesus' name. Amen. So do we owe God something for that? Well, no. I mean, that's the whole point of forgiveness is that everything that you owe is gone. It's taken care of. It's covered. And so you know, God just wants us to experience his forgiveness and know how, great, how much he loves us. Wow. That's awesome. Okay, bye. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our text for this morning is from the Gospel lesson from Matthew chapter 18. And Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? And Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times seven. Ring, ring. Huh? Oh, what, what, what's that noise? Ring! Ring! What? Oh, it's the phone. What time is it? Oh, 3 a.m. Oh, man, that can't be good. Hello? No, there's, there's no Caroline here. You must have the wrong number. Yeah, you should be sorry. Man, when you call someone at 3 a.m., you should double-check the number. Ah. Oh. How oh, irritating. Ah! Man, where did you learn how to drive? Can't believe she cut me off like that. Oh, no. No, I can believe it. Hang up and drive! I'm so fed up with these people, they shouldn't be allowed on the road. What do you mean, stay in my lane? I was in my lane. Look, I don't, I don't see a driving instructor sh badge on your shirt. Don't criticize my driving. Did you hear what the governor did? He signed that ridiculous bill into law. Now our taxes are going to go through the roof. Oh, I hate that guy. I can't believe you said that. You know, there are certain rules for arguing with people that you supposedly care about. And you crossed the line by saying that. That was just plain mean. I will never forget that. I don't have to stand here and take that.
Sorry. I don't, know, I don't know why I blew up like that. I didn't mean it. I love you so much, and I never want to hurt you. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. Oh, man. What a rough day at work. I had to make some decisions today, and they were not popular. But it had to be done. I just hope it doesn't blow up in my face. The rest of the crew is not going to be happy with me anytime soon. I just wish they'd understand. Yeah, hi. Um, yeah, I had an accident and I need a wrecker. Oh, my wife's getting Yeah? Yeah, what? I'm driving. Huh? Stop at the grocery store? Okay. Um, hey, I gotta go. Uh, can I call you when I get uh, to the store and then I'll get that grocery list? Okay, yeah, love you, bye. Oh, back, I, I bet that guy back there is shouting, hang up and drive at me. Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Truly, I say to you, you will be with me in paradise. It is Finished! Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Why are you looking for the living among the dead? He's not here. He is risen. Go and tell the disciples and Peter. Peace to you. Receive the Holy Spirit. As the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. Seven times. Seven times. That should be enough, right? Seven. It's, it's the perfect number. It's the biblical number of completion. When Peter suggested, should I forgive my brother as many as seven times? He must have expected Jesus to say, oh, no, 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 that's just ridiculous. Really, three is probably about good. And yet, what Peter was looking for was to say, once I forgive so many times, then I can justify myself in what I do after that and how I respond after that. But Jesus' point was that sin separates us from God. And that's not what God wants. God's all about reconciliation. 
Jesus went to the cross, and he became our sin for us. And then he was separated from God on our behalf. So that our sin was separated from us forever. You're forgiven. As many as 70 times 7. In other words, you're forgiven perfectly and completely. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now the peace of God that passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus to life eternal. Amen. I invite you to stand as we confess our faith in our loving, forgiving God. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? Yes. yes, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried? He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. Yes, yes I believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? Yes, yes I believe. You may be seated as we pray. Oh, gracious God and Father, we do not come easily to repentance. We say yes, but then we refuse. We say no, but then recant. Be patient with us and help us to hallow your name, to do your will, and to live for your kingdom. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, give us grace to trust you during this time of illness and distress. In mercy, put an end to the epidemic that afflicts us. Grant relief to those who suffer and comfort all that mourn. Sustain all medical personnel in their labors and cause your people ever to serve you in righteousness and holiness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Visit and relieve, O oh Lord, your servants who are ill, for whom we now make supplication, including Steve Alley, David Anderson, Jr., Phil Atkins, Jean Butenhoff, Bertha Carter, Pat Fossen, Jenny Conlon, Frank Derry, Roy Hallgren, Lil Nora Hayes and her parents Eric and Sarah, Janet Hodnick, Jesse Martinez, Marge Minia, Tom Murphy, Isabella Thompson and her parents Veronica and Troy, Richard Watke, Maxine Rowland, Josie Rucci, Carol Sell, Caitlin Farnham, Kevin Price and his mother Diane, Laverne Smith, Karma Spence, Cheryl Stadler, Craig Stevens, Lise Tilson, McKenna Wheelis, and Roger Way. Bless those receiving dialysis treatments. We pray for all those struggling with cancer, including Brad Cordy, Roxanne Denton, Bill Angelica Macias, Bernie Madej, Les Olson, Bruce Rawl, Gretchen Adrian, Byron Bandwin, Catherine Baranski, Bill Brandt and Pastor Roger Eden. Comfort them with a sure confidence in your care and defend them in danger and keep them in your lasting peace and safety. O Lord, watch over our military service men and women, including Jared Bloom, Andrew Buchanan, Tyler Krieger, Irma Martinez, Seth Montez, Nick Olson, Tony Olson, and Anthony Pillman. And give them the assurance of your presence always. O risen Lord, bring the comfort and assurance of the resurrection to the family and friends of Ken Trinan, Gene Smith, and LaGene Ivey, and grant them the peace that only you can give. Lord, trusting in your mercy for Jesus' sake, we bring these requests before you, including those we now lift to you silently.
Hear us as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. shall live as one who's been forgiven. I know my name is clear before my father. So, greatly pardoned, I'll forgive my brother. I then shall live as one who's learned compassion. I then so love I know how fear builds walls instead of bridges. I'll bear to see another's point of view. And when relationships demand commitment, then I'll be there to hear our truth. Your kingdom come around and through and in me. Your power and glory, let them shine through me. And may your living kingdom come in me. The bread of life, oh may I share with honor. And may it be a hungry world through me. Amen, amen, amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you his peace.